Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous module, we discussed about various solids um, and their um, surface areas as well as volumes, base areas, lateral surface, curved surface also. So, in this module, we are going to discuss few set of problems which are really interesting basing on the previous concepts which we discussed. See, coming to the very first problem, a plastic box 1.5 meters long 1.25 meters wide and 65 centimeters deep is to be made. It is to be opened at the top. Ignore the thickness of the plastic sheet. Determine the area of the sheet required for making the box. So, in order to solve these problems, first of all, you will have to mention the information given in the problem and ensure that all the dimensions has to be in the same units. If they are not in the same units, write in same units. Okay. See here the length of the plastic box is going to be 1.5 meters long as well as breadth is going to be 1.25 meters and what about the thickness? That is nothing but depth that height is equal to 65 centimeters. 65 centimeters is nothing but 65 divided by 100 meters. What is 65 by 100 meters? 0 0.65 meters. Now, everything is in same units. What are we supposed to find here? Plastic box, it is it is to be opened at the top. When it is opened at the top, then there is no lid. If there is no lid of the box, then how many number of faces are there for the box? Yes, it has totally 5 faces because one face on the top is removed. So, it has only 5 faces. What are you going to find? The area of the sheet required for making the box. In order to find the area of the sheet required to making the box is equal to area of 5 faces. Area of 5 faces. So, that is what I am going to find here. So, the first one is the area of the sheet required for making the box. Area of the sheet required. Area of the sheet required for making the box is equal to see here you can do in two ways so one is by finding the total surface area and removing one l into b otherwise you can find out the lateral surface area as well as adding one base area right so i am going to go with second part second case that is lateral surface area plus only one base area okay there is no second base because the lid is opened, right. So, lateral surface area is equal to 2 h into L plus B plus base area is equal to L into B. Okay. When I substitute all the values here, then it is going to be 2 h, h is going to be 0 0.65 into L plus B, L is equal to 1.5 plus breadth is equal to 1.25 plus L into B 1.5 multiplied by 1.25 will give the total area of the sheet required for making the box. So, I am going to use my calculator in order to find the solution. So, 2 into 0 0.65, um, 2 into 0 0.65 is going to be of course, 1.3 multiplied by 1.5 plus 1.25 is going to be 2.75 and then plus it is 1.5 multiplied by 1.25. So, 1.5 multiplied by 1.25 is going to be 1.875, 1.875 and what is the total value of this that is going to be 1.3 multiplied by 2.75 is equal to 3.575 plus 1.875. Okay. So, plus 1.875 which is equal to 5.45 is 5.45 meter square is the total area of the sheet required for making the box. That is what is the answer for the first problem and coming to the second one the cost of sheet for it, if a sheet measuring 1 meter square cost is equal to 20 rupees. If 1 meter square is equal to 20, how many meter squares are there? 
5.45 meter squares are there. Therefore, the total cost of the sheet, cost of the sheet is going to be total area multiplied by rupees 20. Okay. So, total area is equal to how much? 5.45. So, multiplied by 20, then the total value of the amount is going to be multiplied by 20 is equal to 10.90. 10.90 in the sense what? So, 5.45, um, sorry, 5.45 multiplied by 20 is equal to 109 rupees of course into 10 is also there which is equal to 109 rupees is the total cost of making this box so hope you understand here you need to be little careful with the calculation otherwise the problem can be solved easily right see here the only thing that you need to identify here is it is to be opened at the top if there is no lid then you will have to remove one area to identify the total surface area of this open box right let us move on to the next problem so here the next problem is going to be shanti sweet stall was placing an order for making cardboard boxes for packing their sweets two sizes of boxes were required the bigger of dimension so there are two types of boxes first type of boxes and second type of boxes and the bigger box of dimensions 25 centimeters, 20 centimeters and 5 centimeters means length is equal to 25 centimeters and breadth is equal to how much is this that is 20 centimeters as well as height is equal to 5 centimeters okay? and uh, the smaller of dimensions 15 centimeters. So, length is equal to 15 centimeters and breadth is equal to 12 centimeters and height is equal to 5 centimeters. Okay? For all the overlaps, 5 percentage of the total surface area is required extra. For all the overlaps, 5 percentage of the total surface area is required extra. So, if the cost of the cardboard is 4 rupees per 1000 centimeters square, find the cost of cardboard required for supplying 250 boxes of each kind. So, now, what do we have to start with and we have to understand one thing that how much cardboard is required for making the box for making the box in the sense see when you are talking about a box so that it has to be completely occupied it means the total surface area has to be found so you will have to find total surface area of the first kind of box as well as second kind of box and one more information is given here 5 percentage of the total surface area is required extra is required extra means what 5 percentage is extra for overlapping that is also the cardboard is required okay? and this is what you are finding uh, the total surface area of the box. So, totally what you have to find we will have to find total surface area of one box and then you will have to find what is the 5 percentage of the total surface area and then you will have to add that 5 percentage of the total surface area to the total surface area. But instead of doing all these things if you once understand and think logically the cost of one pen is equal to 20 rupees means 100 percentage of the cost is equal to 20 rupees because 100 percentage is nothing but 1. So, that how am I understanding here the total surface area of one box is equal to 100 percentage of the total surface area and here 5 percentage is extra. So, 100 percentage plus 5 percentage is equal to 105 percentage of total surface area is nothing but the area of the cardboard sheet required. Hope you understand. Instead of doing them individually, 5 percentage of the total surface area is required extra for overlapping and 100 percentage of the total sheet is required for making total surface area of the box. So, totally we need 105 percentage of the total surface area of the sheet required for making one box. So, that total surface area means sheet required here, sheet required is going to be 105 percentage of total surface area. Hope you understand. Now, I am going to find what is 105 percentage of total surface area of the first box as well as the second box. Okay. So, 105 percentage of total surface area is equal to 
105 percentage means 105 divided by 100 multiplied by what is the total surface area 2 into L B plus B H plus L H. Okay. So, that means this is 2 ones and 2 fifties are 100 it means 105 divided by 50 into now I am going to substitute this 25 into 20 25 twos are 50. So, that this is 500 plus B H 20 into 5 is equal to 100 plus L H 25 into 5 is equal to 125 which is equal to 105 divided by 50 multiplied by how much is this 500 plus 100 600 plus 100 equal to 725 725 of course we can cancel but i am using calculator to find out the solution for this that is 105 multiplied by 725 divided by 50 which is equal to 1522.522.5 centimeter square is required for making one box, but how many number of boxes are there? Okay, of course, I cancel here, I will leave it like this, but I need totally 250 boxes and one box cost is equal to 4 rupees per 1000 centimeter square. Okay. So, here total cost is equal to total cost of this first kind of box is going to be 1522.50 multiplied by how many number of boxes 250 boxes and 4 rupees per 1000 centimeter square. So, into 4 divided by 1000 this is what the total cost, but if you think logically 250 fours are 1000 and 1000 gets cancelled. So, the total cost of 250 boxes is going to be 1522.50 rupees this is what is the total cost of this first kind of boxes and coming to the second kind of boxes here. So, second kind of boxes of course, we have to find 105 percentage of total surface area. What is 105 percentage of total surface area that is going to be 105 divided by 100 again into 2 into L B see here the dimensions here are 15 into 12. 15 twelves are 180 plus B H 12 fives are 60 plus L H 15 fives are 75 okay. and then 2 ones 2 fifties are 100 again which is equal to 105 divided by 50 multiplied by see here we need to understand one thing that 5 plus 0 equal to 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 again and 7 plus 6 is equal to 13, 13 plus 8 is equal to 13 plus 8 is 21, 1, 2, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, 315, so 105 divided by 50 into 315 will become 105 multiplied by 315 is equal to divided by 50 is 661.5 is equal to 661.5 centimeter square is the total surface area of second kind of boxes. See here again we need to find the total cost, total cost is equal to total cost is going to be again 250 boxes 4 rupees per each box at the rate of 1000 centimeter square. So, that 661.5 into we need 250 boxes and 4 rupees per each 1000 centimeter square again 4 25 are 1000 1000 gets cancelled we get 661.5 rupees okay so this is about the total cost of second kind of boxes but what we want here we need to find the cost of cardboard required for supplying 250 boxes of each kind so first kind of boxes cost 1522.50 rupees and the second kind of box is 661.50 rupees for 250 boxes. Hope you understand this is quite interesting problem of course, we can do it easily right. Let us move on to the next problem. See here the next problem is going to be it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter 
see I am going to draw one cylinder, cylindrical tank of course. So, this is a cylindrical tank and it is closed cylindrical tank, closed cylindrical tank means top as well as bottom both are closed and here this is the base radius and of course, this is also the base radius and this is the height of the cylindrical tank. So, it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter. So, height is going to be 1 meter and the base diameter is going to be 140 centimeters. So, base diameter, so this entirely the base diameter, diameter is equal to 140 centimeters. If diameter equal to 140 centimeters, radius is equal to 140 by 2 is equal to 70 centimeters, right. See here height is equal to 1 meter and now form a metal sheet, how many square meters of the sheet required are required for the same. See here uh, we need to understand uh, one thing that it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter and base diameter is equal to 140 centimeters from metal sheet. How many square meters of the sheet are required for the same? So, what does it mean? You need to find what is the total surface area of the sheet. Okay? So, what is the information given in the problem given that height of the cylinder is equal to 1 meter and base diameter is equal to 140 centimeters. So, radius is equal to 70 centimeters, but see here you need to find the solution for meter square. See how many square meters of the sheet required. See ultimately you need your result in meters, so that height is already in meters. So, convert this radius is equal to 70 centimeters into meters, which is going to be 70 centimeters means 70 divided by 100 meters. Okay? So, 70 by 100 meters is equal to 7 by 10 meters, hope you understand. Now, the total sheet required, the total sheet required, which sheet that is? the total metal sheet required is equal to total surface area of cylinder. So, that is why it was mentioned there it is required to make a closed cylindrical tank. Okay? What is the total surface area of the cylinder? 2 pi r into r plus h. Right? So, 2 into the value of pi is mentioned here, it is being 22 divided by 7 times radius, of course, the radius is going to be 7 divided by 10 into r plus h, radius is equal to 7 divided by 10 and height being 1 meter, right. If there is any cancellation, please do cancel, 7 and 7 gets cancelled, 2 22s are 44 divided by 10 times 7 plus 10 by 10, 7 plus 10 is equal to 17, so 17 divided by 10. Now, you need to multiply 17 and 44, 17 fours are 68, 8 6, 17 fours are 68 plus uh, 6 is equal to uh, 74 divided by 10 into 10 is equal to 100, which is equal to 7.48 meter square. Metal sheet is required for making this closed right circular cylinder. Right. Next, let us move on to the next problem. Here the next problem is the diameter of a roller is 84 centimeters and its length is 120 centimeters. See, I am going to draw one roller here. So, the roller is in the shape of a cylinder, right. So, it is a right circular cylinder, it is a roller and what are the dimensions of the roller given here? The diameter of roller is 84 centimeters. So, this is the diameter the diameter is going to be 84 centimeters and its length is 120 centimeters. So, this is what is the length of the roller is nothing but height is equal to 120 centimeters. Okay? So, diameter is equal to 84 and uh, height of the roller is equal to 120 centimeters. It takes 150 complete revolutions to move once over to level a playground. So, when it is rolling once, for example, it started here, okay, started here and when it is rolling and coming to the same starting point, what does that mean? See, it is rolling this way and coming to the same starting point. So, this is what is the same starting point. 
So, what does this mean? It means the roller completed one revolution. The roller completed one revolution means what is that revolution means? Revolution means its curved surface area. Okay. So, one revolution is equal to one complete revolution is one curved surface area. So, 500 complete revolutions is nothing but 500 total uh, curved surface areas. Okay. So, according to the given problem, I am going to write the information here. So, the height of the cylinder is equal to 120 centimeters and the diameter is equal to 84. So, the radius is going to be diameter by 2. Of course, you can leave the diameter, does not matter. So, 84 divided by 2 is equal to 84 by 2, which is 42 centimeters is the radius. So, 500 complete revolutions means one complete revolution one complete revolution is equal to one curved surface area. How many complete revolutions? 500 complete revolutions. So, therefore, 500 complete revolutions, 500 complete revolutions is equal to 500 times one curved surface area. Now, you will have to substitute what is the formula for curved surface area of cylinder which is going to be 500 into 1 curved surface area, curved surface area of cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h. Okay. So, when you substitute the values 500 times 2 into pi is equal to 22 by 7 and radius is equal to 42 multiplied by height being 120 centimeter square. Right? You can simplify this 7 1 7 6 are 42. So, when you multiply everything, then what do you get? So, you get the value that is 500 multiplied by 44 multiplied by 720. So, which is equal to 158440 1, 2, 3, 4 centimeter square. Okay? This is what is the playground. Find the area in meter square. Of course, we will find that 158440 centimeter square. Since you want the result in meter square, that is why we do one thing 1 centimeter square is equal to how many meter square? That con conversion is like 1 centimeter is equal to 1 by 100 meters, correct? 1 centimeter equal to 1 by 100 meters. We want 1 centimeter square square it on both the sides. So, 1 centimeter whole square equal to 1 by 100 whole square. 1 square equal to 1 centimeter square equal to 1 divided by 2 zeros whole square equal to 4 zeros, right? Meter square. It means 1 centimeter square equal to 1 by 10,000 meter square. I am going to write that 1, 5, 8, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros multiplied by 1 centimeter equal to square equal to 1 by 10,000 meter square. Now, see the cancellation 4 zeros, 4 zeros gets cancelled. So, finally, you get 1584 meter square. It means 1584 meter square is the total area that the roller is, uh, you know, level the playground. Hope you understand how to answer the problem, right? Let us move on to the next problem. So, the next problem is going to be curved surface area of a cone is 308 centimeter square. See, this is a cone and this is the base radius, let it be r and this is height and this is the slant height L and we know what is the relation between slant height, height and radius also, but what is the information given in the problem? The information given in the problem is given that curved surface area of cone is equal to curved surface area of cone. What is the formula for curved surface area of cone? We already discussed that is pi r l. So, that was given here is 308 centimeter square. So, pi r l is equal to 308 centimeter square and its slant height is being 14 centimeters. So, l is equal to 14 centimeters. What do you want here? Find the radius of the base total surface area assuming pi is equal to 22 by 7. In order to find the total surface area as well as uh, the radius of the base, you need to 
equate pi r l with 308 and substitute what are the values given in the problem. That implies pi is going to be 22 by 7 and radius we do not know and l is equal to 14 which is equal to 308. Okay? Now, see the cancellation 7 1, 7 2s are 14, 2 1s and 2 15s are 30 and 2 4s are 8 and again 2 11s are 22 and 2 7s are 14, 2 7s are 14, 11 1s, 11 7s are 77. Therefore, the value of r is going to be 7 centimeters. After finding the value of r means radius, total surface area of the cone. What do you mean by total surface area? Covered surface area plus 1 base area. So, base area is equal to pi r square. By this r is equal to 7, we can find what is the base area. So, base area of cone is equal to pi r square which is equal to 22 by 7 into r square is equal to 7 square that is 7 into 7. 7 1, 7 1 is cancel. 7 2s are 14, 7 2s are 15. So, 154 centimeter square that is what is the base area. Therefore, total surface area of cone, total surface area of cone is going to be curved surface area plus 1 base area. We already given that curved surface area is equal to 308 plus base area is going to be 154. So, finally, what do you get? 8 plus 4 equal to 2, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 centimeter square is what is the total surface area of the cone that is obtained with the given information. So, let us move on to the next problem. Here the next problem is what length of tarpaulin 3 meters wide will be required to make conical tent of height? It is again a conical tent. So, there is a conical tent here again. The conical tent of height 8 meters. So, this is the height of the conical tent which is equal to 8 meters and the base radius is 6 meters. So, radius of the base is equal to 6 meters. So, what are you going to find? What length of tarpaulin 3 meters wide will be required to make conical tent of height 8 meters and base radius is equal to 6 meters. Assuming that the extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastes in cutting is approximately 20 centimeters. See, 20 centimeters is the length. See here it was given. Assuming that the extra length, extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastes in cutting is approximately 20 centimeters. So, first of all, you need to understand one thing that there is a piece of cloth. That piece of cloth is in the shape of a rectangle because what length of tarpaulin? We do not know what is the length of the tarpaulin. This is what is the tarpaulin basically. So, here length of the tarpaulin is not given, but width of the tarpaulin is given as 3 meters. This is 3 meters, length is not given. So, what are you asked to find here? This tarpaulin is made into a conical tent. This tarpaulin is made into a conical tent. It means the total area of this tarpaulin is going to be the curved surface area of the tent because on the base you do not have you do not require any cloth if you want to make a conical tent. So, that as per the given problem according to the given problem area of the total cloth. So, area of the total cloth means area of rectangle is equal to curved surface area of cone. Okay? Curved surface area of cone. See here, this length we will definitely find and uh, see here the problem given is to make the conical tent of 8 centimeters and base radius assuming that the extra length of material that will be required for stitching margins and wastage in cutting is approximately 20 centimeters. That is extra length of the cloth required. So, here you need to find out what is the area of rectangle. Area of rectangle equal to length multiplied by breadth is equal to curved surface area of cone is equal to pi r and l. L is going to be the slant height that slant height is equal to root over h square plus r square. Got it? And here l into 
breadth of rectangle is equal to how much? 3 meters. So, it is 3 meters which is equal to pi is going to be, we should use only 3.14 because it was mentioned into radius is equal to 6 into square root L square plus uh, sorry H square plus R square that is 8 square plus 6 square. Okay. So, this is 3 L is equal to 3.14 into 6 multiplied by root over 8 square plus 6 square, 8 square equal to 64, 6 square equal to 36, 64 plus 36 equal to 100, root over 100 is equal to 10. So, finally, what do you get here? 3 1s and 3 2s are 6 and 3.14 multiplied by 10 is going to be 31.4 multiplied by 2. So, 31.4 multiplied by 2 is 2 4s are 8, 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. So, 62.8 meters cloth is that is what is the length, but extra length of the cloth is 20 centimeters extra. So, extra length, extra length is equal to 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters equal to how many meters? 20 by 100 meters. So, 20 by 100 meters is equal to 0 0.2 meters. So, total length of cloth total length of cloth required is equal to 62.8 meters plus 0 0.2 meters which is equal to 62.8 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 0 1 62 plus 1 is equal to 63 meters cloth is required for making this whatever the length uh, whatever uh, you know uh, the cone right curved surface area of the cone right next moving on to the next problem here the next problem is the diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth find the ratio of their surface areas basically what are the shapes of moon as well as earth shapes of moon and earth will be in spheres so that i am taking two spheres here so this is the biggest sphere and this is the smaller one okay so, here the diameter of the moon, so this is going to be the moon and this is going to be the earth. Okay. So, as per the given information, the diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth. So, I am taking the diameter of the moon is equal to capital D and the diameter of the earth is going to be small d. So, this is small d and this is capital D. So, what is the information given here according to the given problem? The diameter of the moon is approximately equal to one fourth of the diameter of the earth. This is the diameter. So, diameter is equal to one fourth of the diameter. So, here diameter is equal to two times small r and here diameter is equal to two times capital R because that is the radius. See, I am going to write this as 1 by 4 into what is the diameter of uh, earth that is going to be 2 r. So, e is going to be 2 1s and 2 2s that is r divided by 2. Okay. So, small r divided by 2 is the diameter of the what is the diameter of the moon. Okay. So, the diameter of the moon is equal to 1 fourth of the diameter of the earth. So, the diameter of the earth is equal to diameter is equal to 2 times radius. So, 2 into r I substituted 2 into r 2 ones and 2 twos. So, that is going to be r divided by 2. So, diameter is equal to small r divided by 2 okay. and uh, then what are we going to do here? So, we are going to find out the ratio of the surface areas. So, surface area of moon divided by surface area of earth. Okay. What is the formula for surface area of sphere? Surface area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi small r square. Okay. 4 pi capital R square divided by 4 pi small r square. Of course, 4 pi, 4 pi gets cancelled. Capital R, capital R is going to be, this is the diameter, right? So, diameter is equal to 1 fourth of small d because diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth. Yeah, then I will have to change here because moon is smaller than earth, right? So, this is earth 
and this is moon correct fine so capital r this is 2r right diameter is equal to 2r so 2r is equal to r by 2 then capital r is going to be r by 2 into 2 is equal to 4 i am going to substitute that so that r by 4 whole square divided by small r square r by 4 whole square is equal to r square by 4 fours are 16 into 1 by r square r square r square cancel therefore surface area of moon is to surface area of earth is going to be 1 is to 16 you understand see here the first thing is the earth and the second thing is the moon it is not moon and it is not earth because earth is bigger than the moon right so that the diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth means earth is bigger than moon so that is what uh, I wrote first fine hope you understand this is the way to answer the problem so moving on to the next one so the next problem given here is a right circular cylinder just encloses a sphere of radius r uh, this is the figure 13.22 find surface area of the sphere once you observe that see here the sphere is in the sphere is inside the cylinder when the sphere is inside the cylinder i am just going to draw it once again okay uh, maybe it is not looking good uh, i will draw it once again this is the sphere okay and uh, just touching it okay and here also this is what is the diameter of the top and this is the diameter of the bottom okay and this is what is the height of the cylinder according to the figure given here the height of the cylinder is going to be the diameter of the sphere okay so according to the given figure according to the given figure diameter of diameter of sphere is equal to height of cylinder okay height of cylinder so and moreover see this is what is the diameter the same as the diameter of the sphere is same as the diameter of the diameter of the sphere is same as the diameter of the top of the cylinder okay diameter of the sphere is equal to diameter of cylinder so both the diameters are same you understand so diameter of sphere is equal to diameter of cylinder and the diameter of cylinder is equal to height of the cylinder so diameter of the cylinder is equal to height of the cylinder means i can take one thing that here uh, like diameter of the sphere is equal to diameter of the cylinder so that let it be small r and this is also small r if this is small r this is small r and this is also small r so that height of the cylinder is going to be 2 r okay h is equal to 2 r that is what the basic information that we need find out the surface area of the sphere so what is the surface area of the sphere first thing is surface area of sphere surface area of sphere is equal to 4 pi r square which is equal to 4 pi r square is r square only no because the radius of the sphere is equal to small r so 4 pi r square is only surface area of sphere and curved surface area of the cylinder second one is curved surface area of cylinder see here the dimension given here is only the radius so you will have to express your result is only in terms of radius what is the formula for curved surface area of cylinder 2 pi r h which is equal to 2 pi r into h h is equal to 2 r right so substitute 2 r here finally 2 into 2 is equal to 4 pi r square so 4 pi r square is the curved surface area of cylinder and now you need to find what is the ratio of areas obtained in 1 and 2 so third one is ratio of areas obtained in 1 and 2 that is a1 is to a2 
So, here a 1 is going to be 4 pi r square is to a 2 is going to be again 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square is to 4 pi r square is going to be 1 is to 1 that is what is the ratio of areas obtained in both the cases. It is very simple to answer and moving on to the next problem. A river 3 meters deep and 40 meters wide is flowing at the rate of 2 kilometers per hour. How much water will fall into the sea in a minute? This is one of the most important problem that you need to understand and very interesting application also. See a river 3 meters deep and for example, this is what is the river. Okay, This is the river. So, the river 3 meters deep means the height of the river is equal to 3 meters and 40 meters wide. So, width of the river is equal to, so width of the river is equal to 40 meters or breadth of the river is equal to 40 meters okay. and it is flowing at the rate of 2 kilometers per hour. So, water is flowing at the rate of 2 kilometers per hour. So, this is the speed of the water that is 2 kilometers per hour and how much water will fall into the sea in a minute, fall into the sea in a minute in the sense what the time taken given here as 1 minute, okay. time taken is equal to 1 minute, how much water fall into the sea in 1 minute. It means you need to find out the volume of the water which is flowing at the rate of 2 kilometers per hour and falling into the sea in 1 minute. See, we can understand this problem in a better way that what is the volume of the water? What is the volume of the water means definitely the water should be in a particular place, then only it occupies some place, then only we can measure what is the volume, otherwise we cannot measure the volume of the water. right? See, actually the water is flowing from a canal, whatever that is, from a um, river. So, since water is flowing from a river, so that you will have to understand the river is our container, you understand the shape. So, here the shape of the river is equal to as per the given information it is a cuboid and here we know what is the height and what is the breadth, then what is the length of the cube, length of this uh, river, the length of the river can be considered as what is the distance travelled by the water, distance travelled by the water in the particular period of time that is 1 minute. So, how do you find the distance travelled by the water when you know the speed of that water flow as well as within the given time is given then only we can find the distance travelled by the water. Of course, both the informations are given in the problem. See here speed of the water flow is given as well as the time taken is also given. Therefore, with the help of this information we can find what is the distance travelled by the water. Distance travelled by the water is equal to speed multiplied by time. Okay. Speed of the water flow is equal to 2 kilometers per hour. So, 2 kilometers per 1 hour, 1 hour is equal to how many minutes? 60 minutes into what is the required time given? Here it is 1 minute. Okay. So, here minute and minute gets cancelled, 2 ones to 30 are 60. So, totally it is going to occupy otherwise it is going to travel that 1 by 30 kilometers, 1 by 30 kilometers, but here the measurements are in meters, here also in meters, better convert that kilometers into meters, which is going to be 1 divided by 30 into 1 kilometer is equal to how many meters? 1000 meters. This is what is the distance travel with the water. As per our discussion, distance travel with the water is equal to the length of the canal. Therefore, what is the total water volume of the water which is falling into the sea in 1 minute? So, volume of the water is equal to length into breadth into height. So, the length is going to be just now we found that 0 0 gets cancelled. So, 100 divided by 3 meters into breadth is equal to 40 meters into height is equal to 3 meters. So, here 3 and 3 gets cancelled 4 into 1 is equal to 4000 meter cube water, 4000 meter cube water, but water should be in liters, right? 1 meter cube is equal to how many liters? Yes, 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters. So, that 4000 into 1000 liters of water will fall into the sea in 1 minute. So, if you write it in the standard form, it would be 
4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So, I am writing 0 0.4 times 10 to the power of 7 liters of water will fall into the sea in a minute. So, of course, this is one of the interesting problem. You can see these kind of problems a lot in competitive examinations, of course, in grade 10 surface areas and volumes also. And moving on to the next problem, here the next problem is it costs 2200 2, rupees to paint the inner curved surface of cylindrical vessel 10 meters deep right so this is a cylindrical vessel and whose height is equal to 10 meters so this is 10 meters height height is equal to 10 meters right height is equal to 10 meters if the cost of painting is at the rate of 20 rupees per meter square find inner curved surface area of the vessel see it cost 2200 rupees to paint the curved surface area of the vessel 10 meters deep if the cost of painting is at the rate of 20 rupees per meter square the information given here is cost of painting inner curved surface so cost is equal to 2200 rupees 2200 rupees see per 20 meter square cost divided by 20 rupees will give you the curved surface area right so curved surface area is equal to 2200 divided by 20 rupees then it would become 0 0 gets cancelled 1 1 0 is curved surface area of cylinder but what is the formula for curved surface area 2 pi r h is equal to 1 1 0 and here 2 into pi is going to be 22 by 7 radius we do not know but height value is given as 10 meters which is equal to 110 okay so now if you simplify this here 0 and 0 gets cancelled of course 11 ones and 11 twos are 22 2 into 2 is equal to 4 divided by 7 into r is equal to 1 therefore the value of r is going to be 7 divided by 4 meters this is what is the radius and after finding the radius what is the capacity of the vessel so capacity of the vessel means what what do you mean by capacity capacity of the vessel is going to be volume of cylinder right what is the formula for volume of cylinder volume is equal to pi r square times h which is equal to 22 by 7 r square is equal to 7 by 4 multiplied by 7 by 4 multiplied by h h is going to be 10 it was already given in the problem so 7 1 7 1 cancel 2 2 s are 4 2 11 s are 22 again 2 1 s 2 5 s are 10 so finally uh, the value is going to be um, you, you do if you don't cancel i think you get the answer easily because uh, 11 7 s are 77 77 into 10 is equal to 7 7 0 divided by 2 4 s are 8 i think you can cancel this easily um, by 4 2 4 s are 8 and 2 3 s are 6 17 2 8 s are 16 2 5 s are 10 and now i am going to cancel by 4 4 4 9 s are 36 and 25 4 6 are 24 10425 so 96.25 meter cube is what is the volume of the cap volume of this uh, cylindrical vessel so hope you understand how to answer these problems so these problems are pretty much easier but the only thing is you will have to remember the formula and analyze the situation accordingly right enjoy the class thank you